Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco D'Alessio and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this session, what we'll be doing is we'll be going over a very popular task management slash project management application called Trello. And I'm really looking forward to just going over the kind of core features of Trello. And then what we can do is go over in the kind of hardcore detail. I know a lot of people use Trello to kind of manage their projects, manage their businesses, manage their teams. And I think it's a very useful tool. There's a lot of things out, out there like it, but I think Trello is probably just leading the way in terms of functionality around a specific task, but maybe not a kind of set system around it. I think it's very similar to kind of Evernote. They don't teach you on the first day how to use Evernote. They just chuck you in and you can kind of come up with the like methods and function and, and, and uses for the functionality around the app so that you make the kind of recipes and you apply the kind of theories. So it's a kind of open sheet with Trello. You get to go in, you get to play around and you get to have fun. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna jump into this uh, board I've made earlier. And for those who don't know, on Trello, they have things called boards. And basically it's like Pinterest, boards are just things where you put things, uh, boards are just places uh, where you put items, tasks, things like that, whatever you want to use, but basically it allows you to monitor everything in one board. So like, for example, I used to have, I had a board for everything I did with my company, with the company that I work for, Flashdix, and then I did other things with uh, other projects, and I've used it in the past, kind of subtly gone away from it based on the last few weeks I've just been using to do is Sunrise and and actually Evernote. So, but anyway, I want to be doing more work with it in the next few weeks because I feel it's, a, it, for those who don't know, Kanban systems are like process stages. So for example, if, if I added a list up here called open, uh, in progress, and done. So let's say I added a card below them saying feed, um, not feed, I use that in another review, uh, create a video on Trello. So that means that it, it's open, right? So I get a small card and I get to bring it across each of them. And then when they're done, they're done. They're in the done section of, of the Trello list here. So basically what it allows you to do in a Kanban system is bring stuff across to whatever specific stage it's at in the process of the actual completion of the task. So that's great. That's how Kanban works. Uh, and I'm going to be doing more hardcore reviews on that. But anyway, let's just clear these um, just for a sec. So what Trello allows you to do straight out is, um, so when you enter a new board, which I've just done here, it allows you to change up the kind of viewing screens, uh, you know, what color it is. I'm going to go with orange. Actually, I'm, I'm going to change it to light blue. Uh, and also what it allows you to do here is start getting going on lists. So what I can do here is I can add a list, um, maybe videos I need to make, and then maybe next up I could go, ooh, um, people I need to respond to on Twitter. Um, maybe uh, ideas that people have had for videos. Ooh. And so on. I mean, I could have a couple more like um, uh, companies that I need to say hello to. Uh, I'm not sure. Sorry, my off. Um, hello to, hello to. Sorry, guys. Um, the spelling's bad. Uh, okay, so I've got here four lists that I can be working on. And what I can do here is I can add specific cards to these lists. So maybe, you know, I need to make a sunrise review uh, on how to use on the go. Maybe that's one of my videos. Maybe I need to do a sunrise versus Google Calendar review. Okay, that's cool. So once I've got, sorry about the spelling, guys, just trying to get this one out. So let's say I've got these two cards here. What I can do also is drag them across, but I'm not going to be at this stage. But as you can see in the top right hand corner, I can pretty much edit anything. So I can add labels to things, you know, and I can even change the name to the labels of um, active or um, maybe it's like I can do it on my Chromebook, which is one of the devices I use. Um, sorry, I'm having a bad day when it comes to this. Uh, and then what you can see is on a kind of overview, so if I were to kind of jump in, I could go, okay, what can I do with my Chromebook? I've got it on me. Oh, I see the red. I can do my Chromebook um, tasks there. 
So that's pretty useful when it comes to labels. You can add the members who join in with it. You can move it to a specific thing, but I recommend just dragging it. Um, you can copy it, which is cool. You can change the due date. So that's in for 20 seconds. Um, and then you can add your calendar as well, which is great, your iCal, which is cool, but I think it's a bit overkill when it comes to tasks because I think you're going into this every day anyway. So why do you need to add it to your calendar? Because you'll, you'll probably over kill your calendar and the calendars for events and things so I, I saved it um and that's the kind of functionality you get with it you can also click into it so as you can see here i went to edit but you can click in and add a lot more functionality you can add labels checklists due dates attachments you can even subscribe to it so it gives you like email notifications every time it comes up or notifications on your phone you can edit the description you can add emoji to it and this is a lot of the time for when people um are with teams this is a great team foot tool um but as i said like evernote it's a very one it's very what very similar to basically you need to create the functionality for this app you need to go out and do the hard work um but when you do you can have a really cool system so um okay so these are the videos i need to make um people i need to respond to on twitter um let's mention a few people um Dimitri Jacobs, I th I'm sorry if I'm spelling your name wrong, that's why uh, it's not on the Google, anyway, Dimitri Jacobs, um, the Trello team, and then, um, ooh, who else shall I mention, uh, Peter Watson wanted a review on Trello to be done, so in general this is really, really useful for teams, um, as 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 you what what you can do is really add team members down here, which is great. Uh, they don't really have to have Trello. Um, they you kind of get an invite to them. You can make each of the board private, or you can have an organization one. You can even have, even have a public one. But I think it would be useful if I did another review because there's a there's a basically a Chrome extension which allows you to plug in stuff. So for example, um, I can go into this and I can attach a photo of myself so let me find this and it makes it look a lot richer um than other things so okay so i've just added that and as you can see it comes up quite pretty and that's what i meant over here when you are able to bring in the stuff from the extension it will actually make a really crisp looking image um out of it it's almost like when you post something on twitter you add the twitter you add a new url it kind of takes it in and makes this like really gorgeous card and that's what this does. So you can add really rich cards. If someone in your team's like uh, adding something, they can add an image and, you know, it looks great. It looks so much better. Maybe not this picture of me. Um, anyway, um, also got a lot of other things like power ups, which allows you to vote on specific cards, uh, drop out if it's um, inactive card or actually add a calendar to it. Um, so you can actually add a calendar as well. They've got other things like stickers, labels, um, emails. So as I said, it's it's kind of like Evernote. There's so much functionality. It's just what you do with that and how you go away and utilize it. Anyway, guys, I hope that review was useful. This is for the kind of people that have no experience using Trello and what it can be useful for. But I hope this one was great for you. Um, as I said, Trello are kind of growing team. They're looking to really add more functionality and I think they need to be like Evernote. They've got the, they've got the right level of functionality. Obviously, they can add a little more, but they can add a lot more visual impressiveness. Because because I mean, the iOS app is not good looking. Uh, it's really hard to use, and maybe they need to work on their kind of mobile expression like Evernote has. But anyway, guys, I hope this one was useful. I hope it showed you a couple more tools and um, tips inside this. Um, there's, there's going to be a lot more um, in the next couple of weeks uh, on Trello. Maybe a more like super user Trello because obviously there's going to be um, there's loads and loads and loads of keyboard functionality as I just showed you there really quickly. Um, so, guys, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive and subscribe. <laughs> thank you very much and I'll see you guys soon.